Do you want to take advantage of the greatest transformation of mother wealth in the history of the world? Well, you've definitely come to the right channel, guys, because in today's video, I'll be bringing you five kick-ass cryptocurrencies I believe are going to perform huge multipliers over the next bull market. Plus, in my opinion, have almost the safest returns possible. So if you do like the sound of that and you want weekly updates on these projects, plus more promising projects, well, guess what? Every single week, I'll be coming out with new weekly updates on these sort of projects so you guys don't really have to worry about researching ever again plus every single month i'll be coming out with about five new projects that you can look forward to so that of course we're staying up to date and also we're learning more so with that said guys let's check out this month's top five picks so the first on this list we have hedera now hedera is personally one of my favorite all-time projects However, I'm not bringing it to you because it's one of my favorite projects. Objectively speaking, it is one of the best projects in the entire ecosystem and arguably, in my opinion, the most transparent, right? So there's a plethora of reasons that make it good. Now, one of the main reasons why I'm bringing it to you today is because sharding will soon enough be implemented in the network. I probably honestly would say within the next few years, maybe even three to four years. However, we pretty much won't see prices around this level again after the next bull market. So if you're someone who wants to invest into a project for potentially 100 plus X returns, even a safe project like Hedera at a $2.2 .2 billion market cap, I'm telling you guys right now, when the network is sharded, I would see a ma massive amount of demand come into the project, right? Because the DLT that runs on the network, which is you know similar to a blockchain, is called a hash graph, and that was actually co-created by the founder of Hedera being Lehman Bard. Now, Lehman is an extremely smart guy, but nevertheless, he co-created the DLT and had it under a patent for about three and a half years, meaning that no one else on the, you know, in crypto is using a hash graph, at least right now. So these guys have all the market, okay? And a hash graph allows for so much flexibility. I'm, again, I'm not gonna go into it in this video, but suffice to say, it's got fair ordering of transactions. It's asynchronous Byzantine fault tolerant, which means you can have actively, constantly, one third of the network trying to take it down and it will still keep going, which is actually very, very rare. Super fast finality times. And obviously when sharding um, is implemented, the TPS will be able to infinitely grow. It just will never be able to stop and just move around with demand, okay? So high, high hopes for Hedera, not just in 2025, but also beyond, right? And again, it probably is one of the best and well-structured networks that currently is. Literally, it was an absolute haven for me trying to actually go through and find everything. They even have, they have every sort of question answered the community has possibly asked. It's just amazing, right? So we're talking about names on the governing council. This is like the governance structure of Hedera, um, like ABRDN. These guys have about 500 billion pounds worth of AUM assets under management. Aru Denison, Boeing, Dell. We have FPOS, LG, Google, IBM, so on and so forth, right? Ubisoft is a big one. And that's because gaming on Hedera will probably be one of the best in the entire ecosystem, right? So anyway, guys, I think you get the point. All I'm trying to say is if we see a tick down at all, again, recently we've about 2x, right, from the all-time all low. If we see any sort of tick down, I suggest DCAing, obviously, non-financial advice, right? But this is what I'm doing, okay? So trust me when I say this will be one of the best projects to accumulate over the next few years. Next, we have Polkadot. Now, we all know Polkadot, right? It's one of the biggest and most popular networks out there. Everyone knows about it right now. It's about a $7 billion market cap. However, there is going to be huge demand for Polkadot coming up that we just haven't seen before. I'm estimating about a 4X from its all-time high price of about $51. So I am pretty much saying I expect in 2025 the price to be around the $200 mark. They might be saying, Kyron, how the hell is that possible? Well, to put it nice and simply, think about it like this. The parachains, which are the main you know, feature of Polkadot, right? they kind of were implemented towards the trail end of the 2021 slash 2022 bull market, right? So with that being said, there, haven't, there hasn't actually been demand, true demand for the network token. There has been interest. There hasn't been actual demand yet. Therefore, I believe with all of these parachains currently using um, Polkadot and obviously with more spinning up every so often, guys, these networks that are on Polkadot themselves are going to make millionaires, let alone the actual underlying infrastructure itself, right? The relay chain. So in my opinion, 
Polkadot is definitely one to look out for. Do not sleep on this just because it's big. Trust me, it hasn't had its day in the sun yet. And not to mention, we're talking about Gavin Wood, the founder of Polkadot being one of the founding fathers of cryptocurrency, right? This guy's extremely smart. And might I say, Polkadot is one of the easiest projects to actually look into. All the wikis, everything on the actual website itself is so easy to read. It's actually a really, really imp important part of the protocol itself, right? If they've made it easy to understand, that means they tend to have a good sort of ecosystem, right? Next, we have Energy Web Token. Now, Energy Web is a crucial, crucial project that is only a small cap, right? Opposed to the other two projects on this list, this is multiple Xs smaller, right? Only $118 million dollars currently trading at about $3.90 with the all-time high. I don't even want to look at the all-time high because it's it doesn't reflect how good this project actually is. What they're trying to do is currently working on the energy sector, right? So currently energy, for those of you who don't know, it's very fragmented, right? All these sort of networks are siloed and they're hard to interoperate, right? So these guys have pretty much created what's called the EWDOS or Energy Web Decentralized Operating System. It's like a network or a blockchain where these sort of uh, big, big names, these energy name, uh, brands can come together, uh, build on top of the network and then interoperate together and create some really, really awesome applications, kind of putting an end to this siloed nature we find the current energy system to actually be in, right? So it's, it's kind of a bit like one of the projects I'll be talking about at the end of today's video. And um, again, like if you're finding projects that are interoperating or, or finding an interoperability solution to something, uh, there's bound to be success as long as they implement themselves correctly and market themselves with big names. Now, speaking of big names, Energy Web has partnered or is working with massive, massive names. Now, these are all the current enterprise partners, right? Big named uh, partners, but none are bigger than this guy right here, Shell. We all know Shell. So, so Shell is currently working with Energy Web Token, which I find absolutely unbelievable. Plus, we also have other names like Vodafone, right? Volkswagen, Wipro, and more. I mean, you can see them all for yourself. There's a hell of a lot of names and any project obviously looking to interoperate or connect with these big name partners and they trust them, hey, something's happening, right? So I will be coming out with a video on Energy Web Token very, very shortly. But one thing I want to say before we move on is check this out. Currently, only a 30 million or 30 million tokens are currently in circulation and the max supply is 100 million tokens, right? That's nothing, guys. That's literally nothing, right? So you're talking about like how to find future token price, right? You have demand, okay, the market cap, how many people want to buy or use the token. Then you have supply, how many of them are in existence? When you're talking about a number less than even half a billion, that is minute, guys. So to have 100 million max supply is unbelievable. And once those two figures meet, once demand meets supply, the price should hopefully go up, which is what I believe, okay? So this is one to look out for. We're nice and early as well, and they have big, big dreams. Next, Near Protocol. Now, again, I've made a video on Near Protocol. You can check it out on the channel already. Near is another, what you would call large cap project. However, it has a very, very important update coming out very soon called Nightshade. Now, Nightshade fundamentally is what makes Near Protocol Near, right? Without Nightshade, which is its sharding approach, it would just be like another network token, right? Another another regular blockchain, okay? So I'm not going to get into how it works. Essentially, it shards transaction and state and not network, which is a bit different to other so-called, um, you know, sharded blockchains, okay? So I really, really like Nightshade itself, and that's why I'm so bullish. Now, there's about four or so phases within the implementation of Nightshade, and currently, we're about just past phase two. So I believe they're working on phase three and phase four right now. And once phase four is complete, um, there's just going to be a surge of demand coming through the near protocol, right? And it's amazing because I believe it's about the number sixth on the current active developer charts, meaning there's you know, a whole heap of developers currently building on Neo Protocol. And I believe that's thanks to its EVM compatibility, right? It's EVM compatible. It's really got a token bridge um, with Ethereum directly. And it's got a whole shard design called Aurora specifically for EVM smart contracts, okay? So it's playing the smart game. A matter of fact, since I'm on the EVM, so is Hedera, right? So I just want to say that for the record. So when, in my opinion, Nia has nightshade fully implemented think about all the current developers building on the network they must know something right they're getting ready for something they're happy to build and put all their money and time and energy into building on the network like Nia. 
So they're, they're preparing for something, right? So all I have to say is keep a keen eye on Nier, okay? Now, currently the price is about $20, oh, $2.20, should I say, and it was about 20 bucks at the top of the uh, previous all-time high, which again, more or less is about a 10x difference. However, again, I'm estimating about a $31 to $32 Nier protocol. At bare minimum, come the next bull market. So buying in now, you're looking at about a 15 or so X. And in saying that, I guess that's the price I'm looking at to take my initial investment out. So all I'm saying to you guys is just remember the price could go a hell of a lot more depending on when Nightshade's implemented and uh, pretty much when you buy in, all right? Now, before we move on, I wanted to say the really cool thing about Near Protocol is it does have a 5% year-on-year inflation rate. However, 70% of every trans transaction is burnt, okay? So it won't take long before the network becomes deflationary, right? So think about that. With almost all the tokens in circulation, uh, this is going to come right around the corner, right? And as obviously demand continues to grow with about 367,000 daily transactions, which is a heap, right? I think Bitcoin has about 250,000. Ethereum currently, you know, has about 1 million. So these guys aren't doing that bad. And when this number probably goes to about a million, right? You can imagine all of those transactions, about 70% being burnt. So, you know, you can kind of see how quickly the you know, network can become deflationary as well as you throw a fully implemented nightshade on top of that. I mean, come on, guys. It's just credible, right? So there's a hell of a lot more I want to talk about in the protocol, but I think for brevity's sake, let's just move on. The next project on my list is Algorand. Algorand, 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 right? Again, it's another big project. So, Karen, why are you talking about this project? Well, guys, Algorand is poising themselves as a household name, right? They were a major sponsor of the FIFA World Cup that's recently been passed, and they sponsor a whole heap of events, right? You will literally see the Algorand logo in like Formula One, for example. Again, soccer, FIFA, whatever you want to say, um, just everywhere, right? They, they want to become a household name. And to become a household name, people are going to use the network first, right? Some of these other protocols take a bit of time to get into, right? They're very technical. Well, Algorand's actually just poising themselves to be like that sort of symbol to use, household name, the kind of the first step into this new world they're trying to build okay so that's why i like it well there are a few other reasons which we'll get into in just a second but that's kind of like the main reason why i think people are kind of sleeping on algorand because you know it doesn't have this 100,000, 1 million or infinite tps number it's got about a thousand or so tps but it's instant finality so you think about that you post the transaction to the network and it's pretty much guaranteed instant fi final because the chances of the network forking are very very low so anyway what is the current price? Well, it's about 25 cents, okay? And it really hasn't dropped all that too far from its all-time high, which is more or less again about a 10x down, okay? It's a common theme among these larger projects. However, again, guys, this, this hasn't taken into consideration the surge of demand that is coming into 2025 and more importantly, beyond, okay? 2025, I believe, will be more of a stepping stone uh, kind of bull market, for the major bull market moving from there, okay? So just remember, the, fast, the earlier you get in, the better for you, okay? Again, most of the circulation uh, is almost, most of the supply, sorry, is in circulation, which is also a very good sign to see. So the other aspects I wanted to tell you about was this guy right here, Silvio Macali. He is, again, just like Lehman, one of the guys I look up to as a founder. Believe it or not, this guy co-invented, co-created zero knowledge proofs and we all probably know about zero knowledge proofs right so again one of the founders or the founder of algorand protocol and he has a very strong take on this right green being carbon neutral specifically for algorand carbon negative because these guys obviously buy carbon credits the network is proof of stake uses a very very low amount of um kind of energy right to, to run the network but they obviously go out of their way to buy offsets which then reduces it to pretty much zero. And then they actually go out and invest out of the treasury funds into projects like real world businesses that are actually working on, you know, uh, planting trees, for example, or working on ways to lower, um, you know, the world's carbon use. So again, they've just got a really, really good institutional way of going about it, just like Hedera, for example. So again, these probably going to be like the forward facing projects that will find real world adoption first none of these DeFi little project coins okay so just remember that now moving on the bonus of today is quant network now 
you guys watching the channel should all know Quant. I've made about three videos on Quant Network now, and I believe they are seriously, seriously undervalued, okay? These guys are looking at interoperating all of the current sort of networks, right? Cryptocurrency, legacy networks, enterprise-grade networks together, right? Like the spider in the middle of the web, okay? And the way it works is pretty much the overledger system, which is not a blockchain. It's an operating system that sits on top of the internet that allows all these networks to just flow through, right? But it's not just like networks as in a blockchain, for example. It's also networks that can connect to Quant via APIs, right? Facebook, any social media application, any website, whatever it may be. So they can all connect through Quant and Quant on the top of the network allows these things called maps, which are multi-chain applications, which are just like dApps, right? But they can connect to any network on Quant. Now the really cool thing about Quant is check this out guys. The circulating supply is 83% in circulation, but the max supply is only 14.8% million tokens, not 14.6. Yes, I said that correctly, 14.8. So think about that. Bitcoin has about a 21 million max supply. Quant Network over here with about 14.8 million. It's just like, guys, we talk about supply and demand, okay? Now there's gonna be huge demand. Obviously, these guys have massive partners, Oracle, Lackchain, for example, right? UST. And then on top of that, they've got a very minimal amount of supply. So what do you think is going to happen when this demand and, you know, obviously as that ramps up, meets the small supply? Well, the token price is going to shoot up. I think this project easily over $1,000 in the next bull market right now. I know $132 per token. It was recently at about $55 or $40 per token, which is quite low. Yes, I believe there will be a pullback, right? So I'm kind of holding off for a bit of a cheaper price here. However, even then, 132 bucks is quite cheap. I think in 2030, moving forward, this project will easily be over $10,000, okay? Because we need to remember, they they are operating from a very similar standpoint to Algorand and Hedera. But the interesting thing about Quan is people constantly go on about, you know, it being a so-called centralized network. What they fail to understand is Quant is a business. It is a business leveraging cryptocurrency, right? They're simply a smart contract on Ethereum as a settlement layer. That's their settlement layer to kind of go, okay, well, all these transactions are considered true and final. For, for all you care, they uh, could be a stock on the stock market, right? But because their token is so integral to the actual network, they need to use cryptocurrency, right? Let's just be thankful that we're allowed to buy Quant, you know, so easily. Okay, so that's all I have to say for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Nevertheless, expect five more uh, new projects to be out in about a month's time. And if you do like any of these projects, well, I've got good news for you. Again, expect to have weekly updates as well. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all very, very soon.